Congressional District Census. And some of y'all don't like it the way that I now spit like MC2 dolls on a holier than thou kick. Smack your face for your blessed ways and everybody be quote me like the latest catchphrase. I'm on a mission that goes beyond material. So eat this killer series, serial killer serial. Killer killer for real, drop all the beer with a sound you can feel like cold hard steel. That's warm like the blood flows out of your head. And I rock non-stop till I bomb my death head. And I can swap out a catalytic converter with a few hand tools, but I can never be murdered. Spit the rapid fire like around the shells. I got the lyrical skill that says the devil to hell. So don't disrespect what you can't understand. Cause I can still scorch your brain in the palm of my hand. Stupid. Another horse came out. here congressional district census so a lot of this stuff may reflect on my chances of future employment if a lot of employers in the area uh, are liberal leaning so to speak which is something other than what I am I am not liberal and not liberal leaning and um, in actuality, never was, even in those years that I was unsupportive of President Bush, uh, which were those um, years after I had already voted for him for re-election for his second term. Okay, so, uh, independent voter, but the moderate liberal uh, I like this. Of course, I'm none of these. Uh, I like this, but I think I'm gonna like really ramp it up a bit here. I'm gonna check that. Oh shit. I should read these things first. Okay, so so basically we're gonna color it in. Why do they make it? They make they make it where you gotta color in a checkbox. That is so ridiculous and retarded. I bet you they want me to use number two pencil too. Too late for that shit. Okay. A supporter of President Trump, but not the Republican Party. I would like to say that. I think... Uh, uh. All right, so, yeah. Yes. A supporter of both the president and the party. That's how we're going to go with that. I really don't like being dropped in a box, but this is what they give you to work with. And let's see, what else do we have? Do you plan on supporting Donald Trump in the 2020 presidential election? I, now, they should put one here that says F, F yeah. So, but we'll, we'll keep it, uh, we'll keep it family friendly. We'll just say yes. What is your age category? Well, right here, of course. That's my age category. So I'm definitely, yeah, definitely going to select that as my age category. So, yeah, I'm going to select that as my age category. How close do you think... Your views are to other voters in your community. Very close. Gravesend is a Republican community. Very close. Maria the Ice Cream Girl. Steve from the Cafe. Mike from the Cafe. Uh... 
Tony Tattoo, who's actually um, in the Sheep's Head Bay area, but hangs out here a lot. Uh, from what media do you get your political news? Da, 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 da. Where's YouTube? Is YouTube around, available? Because that's where I get my, sh my stuff from. News websites, financial friends, text message, internet blogs. Hell no, no social workers. I'm not going to say Fox News. I'll, I'll say Twitter, though. Because Caitlin Bennett uses Twitter a lot. And so does Tucker Carlson. And of course, Mr. President Donald Trump. All right. General issues. Do you think President Trump is leading our nation in the right direction? Or do you feel it's going in the wrong direction? Absolutely going in the right direction. All these people that want to identify as these weird things and, you know, prioritize what they identify as over my next meal. You know, no, your identity isn't more important than my next dollar. Sorry. Do you think Nancy Pelosi and the Democrat House are holding President Trump? Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is very, uh, this is a very right-leaning thing to begin with. That, that's a very right-leaning question. Do you think Nancy Pelosi and the Democrat-controlled House are holding President Trump's agenda hostage and putting their political interests ahead of good common sense and the good of the country? Well, I added the good common sense part. Um, do you approve or disapprove of the Democrats' never-ending witch hunt to destroy our president? Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm, I, let, let, let me pretend I'm indifferent about that. I'll pretend I'm indifferent about that. Pretend there isn't a witch hunt. But, but pretend there is no reason for a witch hunt either. Do you think the Democratic Party as a whole is promoting big government? Uh, yeah, for sure. They don't even need to finish that question. My answer is yes. All right, so this is a very right-leaning survey. So they, they pretty, I think they pretty much know what their answers are going to be. Do you approve or disapprove of the Democrats? And you can end it there. Anything having to do with... Unless it, unless, unless it's followed by the word jail or capital punishment, I'll, I'll put disapprove. How's that? Okay. Uh, what else we got? Do you believe in the national... Do you believe the national media has strong bias against all things... Uh, that, that's a pretty tough question because there are news outlets that support him and new out news outlets that don't, and nobody's and nobody's calling it down the middle. Uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna piss people off now. Let's piss people off on the right and, uh, uh, and put and, and play dumb here. Durr. Absolutely. Absolutely. Social media suspends. They don't. And that's why I went from a music thing and I became uh, more outspoken in my conservatism because because a lot of um, 
things that I said what, that were right leaning uh, sort of uh, not leaked out, but were blown out of proportion as if as if my common sense things that I said were horrific and, and they hurt people's feelings. And so uh, people started boycotting my music and pretending they didn't like it when they used to like come to my shows and clap their hands for me all the time. Do you think political correctness has gotten out of hand in America? And yes, yeah, speak of the devil. There we go. And yeah, it, it's it, it's gotten in the way of my music. It's gotten in the uh, How am I supposed to... <coughs> excuse me. How am I supposed to make really cool lyrics like... I never learned to play guitar. Now I'm emotionally scarred like a fucking asshole. Like a fucking retard. If these stupid idiots want to uh, wave the torch of political correctness at me. These people belong in, in seven layers of hell. Are you concerned that a foreign nation such as Russia, Iran, China... Nobody interferes with our election. That's a hoax. Global warming is a hoax. If, if a foreign country was intervening and interfering with our elections... God would then intervene. There'd be inter divine intervention. Please mark order of importance one. Da, da, da. This is going to take some time. I'll have to get back to that later. But, uh, yeah. Please indicate the top five issues that are most important to you in deciding who to vote for. Um, let's see, let's see, how about we start with foreign policy? We start with fo uh, foreign policy, for sure. Uh, race relations are good, but we need a strong military. And most of the military, the military is about somewhere between 46 and 51 percent black. So, whoever says they believe in the military but don't like black people, you know, are in for a rude awakening. You know, and and it's not the Republican way to be racist. Uh, that's that's uh, more of a democratic thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, one, two. I got three in there. Uh, we'll do local issues. Uh, environment stupid social security is not in th at threat uh, economy and then they got a right a right in thing at the bottom where I'll write uh, my music and my ways later mm. Top five, right? They put any right, top five? Okay, so this right here. Conservative judges. So this is definitely and now is there a flip side to this? Okay. Domestic issues. This is like old stuff I gotta go through later. But this is obviously something from a... Um, this is obviously something that starts out uh, impartial. But then the questions you could tell are something that 
somebody from a conservative outlet would ask. Which I have no problem with that. I, I, I'm okay with stuff being as biased as bad guys in wrestling. You know, I could deal with that. And and I get to contribute a thousand dollars. So basically anybody that get anybody that donates to me with intent to give me something to eat. Uh just to let you know. Just to let you know, uh some of those proceeds will go towards um putting uh conservative and sometimes even right wing individuals in office possibly even um taking moderate democrats that have uh, been in office for 20 years or more out of office uh because uh, there's really nothing moderate about the democratic party these days um they either everything that they falsely claim the republicans are or they're Stalin himself. They're like a, a reincarnation of Joseph Stalin himself or Fidel Castro. But uh, either way, uh, thank you for your continued support. Proceeds will go towards, uh, you know, putting people in power that I feel belong in power. Ultimately, putting myself in power. And it's uh, always good to get the support of good friends. Thank you very much.